Hey everyone, it's Miss Susie. Shout out to Spruins, to my second and the third graders. I miss you guys so much. Um, okay, so I will be doing arts and crafts with you guys. Um, most of the stuff that you will need for the arts and crafts or the STEM, you should be able to find at home. I'm going to try my best to make sure that it is in your house. Materials that you have already there lying around. So, that being said, let's get started. I'm going to just change my camera view. So these are the materials that you will need for this arts and craft project. Very basic stuff. Three materials. You got a one gallon plastic bag, Ziploc. You got a plastic plate or paper plate, whichever is fine. And here are some of my acrylic paints. So what you're first going to do is you're going to add some paint. Just small dots everywhere you would like. I'm going to add some orange. I'm going to try to use up colors that I've had for a while. I've had these paints for so long, like since high school probably. Like this one I think is actually dry, so it's going to need to get thrown away. Uh, I think this one might be dry too. I'm going to try to squeeze it. Just like, just a little bit coming out. And I got some on my finger. Hey. Just beware that acrylics will not come out of your clothing. So, make sure to be wearing like a t-shirt, some pants. This isn't really that messy, but just in case you get paint, it will not come out of your clothing. It will stay in your clothing. Otherwise, you're going to have to quickly change and put your clothing in the washer real quick because otherwise, yeah, it's going to just be a new art outfit, I guess. But yeah, you're going to want to add a bunch of spots of paint everywhere just like this. This arts and crafts is pretty cool because it's very simple. You don't need that many supplies, but it's a lot of fun too. You're still going to be using some like fine motor skills. And I actually really like this color. It's purple red, which could also be magenta too. These are the off-brand paints too. I think I got these at AC Moore when AC Moore was still open. Unfortunately, a more business has closed down. So you could also get paints at the dollar store, at Michael's. I'm gonna add some yellow because yellow is a really nice color. It'll brighten things up. Oops, that's a lot. So you don't really need that much paint. You don't need to put too much on, just enough to get it on. You're gonna put the plastic plate or paper plate into the bag. You're going to close up the Ziploc bag, try to get some of the air out, but it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it is closed up. And then you can go ahead and kind of just smoosh it around and just move it around with your fingers using the plastic bag. You're going to just move the paint onto the plate all around. Just like that. Just like how I'm doing. It's actually kind of cool. I actually like the plastic bag more than the plate. So this, this could be a pretty cool design. You could like hang it up. Well, once it's dry, you could hang it up and put it in your window. And it could be like stained glass. Okay. So, actually, that kind of looks so cool. What do you guys think? This is my first time doing it. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Oh, yeah. I think the, the plastic bag looks so much better. So, after you are done, you are going to carefully 
take the plate out of the plastic bag and you're going to take it outside and let it dry. So back up here, this is my house. We're going to go outside. I wish I could just easily take this off. There we go. We're going to go outside. I'm going to try not to drop my camera. And you're just going to want to set the plate down just so the paint can dry. The cool thing about acrylic paint is it doesn't take too long to dry. You could probably give it like two hours being outside, especially because today's like really nice out. Give it two hours. I'm gonna put it in the garden just so no one steps on it. Give it two hours and then it should be dry. Um, at least two hours. It might take a little bit longer depending on how much paint you have. So that's the tutorial that I have. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye!